Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. One of the medical devices that I use every day is this finger pulse oximeter. And uh, I checked on Amazon. I thought I had purchased this from CVS, but I bought it from Amazon. I've had this since May of 2013. So it's, it's still going strong. And uh, if you're taking care of someone that's disabled uh, and they're wheelchair bound and have limited, limited activity, uh, they're not exercising their lungs as much as an active person would. So this is always important to um, make note of their oxygen levels in their blood. I'm always checking this. Uh, my mother does have a history of getting uh, pneumonia and has been hospitalized a couple of times because of that. So she had her flu shot this year, which I think actually gave her the flu. And um, there's another shot. I think it's there's a pneumonia shot I think that you can get I think it's every four years or something but yeah um, in addition we have oxygen and a nebulizer with some medication that helps open up uh, the lung uh, passages uh, and I use that every once in a while but I'm always uh, almost paranoid to the point where I'm always checking this because she does have a history of going into the hospital so I'm always checking it's good to see uh, because you can get a progression where it slowly drops and she is on oxygen during the night when she sleeps because um, when you're lying flat you have a lot of pressure on your lungs and you're not breathing uh, as well as when you're, you're sitting up uh, or, sit, or sitting down in a wheelchair so I'm always using this and it's really simple it's really easy to use and you just put it on the finger like so and press the button. You can see there. Takes a couple of seconds and then it gives you the pulse and the oxygen levels. And you can see here sort of like the visual there of the pulse. So it's our oxygen is at 97. Our pulse is at 44. Let's see what mine is. So ninety eight and sixty eight. She's on medications too that uh, affect her heart rate. So this is, I was wondering what the brand of this was. It is on, on Amazon. Finger Pulse Oximeter. Oximeter. I think I was calling it Oximeter. And when I looked on this, this is what I looked up. Uh, again, I couldn't remember where I purchased it from, but it, I did purchase it off of Amazon. SM. 110. I forget what the SM stands for. It's the company. Sports Tone. No, that's the model. Oh, there it is. SantaMedical.com. Well, actually, that's that's ST. SM. No, Santa Medical. So again, I, I've had this since 2013, and just use this. This is on the table all the time. But it comes with a little carrying bag here, Velcro. Don't use that really. And then the paperwork or manual. But yeah, I thought I'd just uh, show that real quick. I'm always, this is one of the things I use every day. Um, always checking her oxygen levels. Gives you a heads up if, if um, you know, anything is starting to go wrong. Um, you know, you'll see it. I've seen it in the past with the, her oxygen gets low when she has trouble uh, breathing or getting enough oxygen. At that point, we ended up in the emergency room a couple of times. And intensive care unit. 
So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching.